ridicule and sarcasm. Some of the books call it horse laugh, some call it ridicule, some call it sarcasm. Mocking, it's a way to use humor or ridicule to make a point. Comedians are very powerful, because if you can get somebody to laugh, you can get them to trust you. But when you make fun and you mock somebody, that's a powerful tool to downplay that person to a large degree, but you're, you do so in a way that belittles the person. And when you do that, the person seems less important. Saturday Night Live mocks President Trump every Saturday. And it's funny sometimes. At some point you kind of go, okay, already, right? I mean, sometimes you just you say, can, can, can have a little variety. But still, if something's funny, it's, it's a powerful way because we laugh about it. So it's a, it's a way that you can make people seem less important. Let me tell you a story about a great example of this. It was during the um, 1988 debates. It was the vice president debates. And Bush was running, and he has selected as his running mate Dan Quayle. And Dan Quayle was a young, attractive senator who was a, an up-and-coming star because he was a good-looking guy. And Bush chose him as his running mate, and so he had to have that one debate where the vice presidential potential individuals have a debate. And the vice presidential nominee on the other side for the Democrats was Johnston. And Johnston was this old 70-something-year-old codger dude with, with hearing aids and during this debate, Dan Quayle, who was very young, realizes, you know, my weakness is youth. So Quayle realized going into his debate, what is his weakness? His weakness is his strength. And what is his strength? He's young, fresh, and new. What is his weakness? He's young and inexperienced. And so what did his handlers do, the people preparing him for it? They said, you're going to be attacked as to your weakness. Your weakness is you're young and inexperienced. And you could tell he was preparing for that question. Because the moderator said, so people are very concerned, Mr. Quayle, Dan Quayle, about your age and experience. What would you say to people who have a concern about your age and experience? Are you ready to be the vice president? And should the president die or something happen to him, do you have the capacity to step up and be the president? And he was polished and he was ready to go. And he said, of course I do. I have spent this much time doing this and this much time doing that. And these are my qualifications. And, and I've been in the Senate. And not only that, but I remember a young man by the name of John F. Kennedy who was my exact age when he became president of the United States. And he led this country nobly, and he was a great president. And he went on, and he went on about Kennedy, and Kennedy this, and Kennedy that, because everybody loves Kennedy. And then Johnston, in his little old, crotchety manner, kind of looks up and slowly says, you know, I knew Jack Kennedy. Jack Kennedy was a good friend of mine. Sir, you are no Jack Kennedy. And just left it at that. And everyone went, oh, damn. Pulled his pants down, spanked him in front of the whole country. But that's a perfect example of ridicule. Mocking somebody in a way that just tears him apart. Did he say anything substantive? No, he just mocked him.